Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Paradise. All right, you guys. So today I decided I wanted to do a video on functional objects because Lord knows we need some more functional objects in The Sims 4 because it is lacking definitely in that department. So I did find quite a few functional objects. I don't know if, if I'm going to be showing you guys all of them in this video. I might do two parts. So this one might be the first one and then I'll do a second part to show the rest that I have found. But today we're going to start with the first few in which I found and I thought I cannot play my game without this anymore. A few of these objects you guys might be familiar with because you might have seen them in my not so berry challenge. If you haven't seen my not so berry challenge, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. I would suggest you guys go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see another functional objects video or if you use and or like any of the objects that i show in this video today also don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with any videos that i upload and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so that way you are notified every time that i upload a new video okay so the first object i want to show you guys is this object here this is a doable cupcake maker that name is so cute to me get it adorable like adorable but yes this is by the creator ravishing i don't know if i've spoken about ravishing on my channel before but this creator is amazing they make so many good things i highly recommend you go check out ravishing i will be linking down all the functional objects down below but i would suggest you go through this person's page and just look through their stuff because it is amazing so if any of you guys are familiar with the cupcake machine it is i might uh post a picture up so you guys can see what i'm talking about it's like this giant crazy looking machine and it's ridiculous nobody wants that in their house just to create some cupcakes now we have these functional objects so we have this here which is the piping bag and then we also have just a little pouch or sprinkle bag if you may <laughs> where you can also make cupcakes from it depending on your sims baking level they only have but so much options so right now my sim doesn't really have much of a skill level and she can only make vanilla cupcakes and mint minty mocha cupcakes but i'm gonna go ahead and have her make that so you guys can see how it functions all right so she's gonna go ahead and grab yep she grabbed her stuff and she is making it out this toaster is like in the way hold on she is making her cupcakes getting her ingredients together and you can use either or you don't have to buy both objects you could just buy one or the other one but i'm just showing you guys that they are there are two options here if you want to pick one they both work the same here are the cupcakes she just made and they are excellent quality which is awesome because she is not a baker <laughs> speaking of the toaster that was in our way this is a toaster mod by Around the Sims. This mod creates different pastries and toasts. So if you go ahead and click on it, use toaster. We have tortilla, we have toast, we have baguette and jam, English muffin, croissant, brown sugar, pop tart. Have any of you guys ever grown up and eaten these? I know my mother used to buy them and me and my siblings used to hate them because we did not like the brown sugar ones and that's all that she bought was the brown sugar and the cinnamon and don't get me wrong they taste good but um i have other favorites <laughs> and i definitely didn't eat any of the cherry pop tarts but let me know in the comments down below which which one of these you guys did eat and if you enjoyed it we also have waffles we can also toast with baked beans and we could have a pb and j so i'm gonna go ahead and have journey make a pb and j so you guys can see what that looks like all right, girls. So she's going to grab some stuff from the fridge and boom. Now we have a PB and J right there. I'm going to have her make something else so you guys can see what that looks like as well. Let's have her grab a croissant. All right. So now she's going to grab a croissant and they do grab it from the fridge. They don't grab it directly from the toaster. So that's the only thing. But boom. And there she goes. Now she has a croissant. 
You guys can decide which meals you want. So you can download, you have to download them individually. It's not just all in one pack, but I will link it down below. So you guys could go ahead and take a look at it and you can pick and choose what you want to download with this mod. And I feel like that's such a great way of just adding different breakfast and just different meals. And they're also cheap as well. So that's definitely an option for those of you that want something quick and easy for your Sims. They don't have to sit there and make it. They kind of just go into the fridge and boom, there you go. It just pops right out. <laughs> I know sometimes I don't got time for my Sim to sit here and make a full course meal for breakfast because they got to go to work in two minutes. So speaking of going to work now, this next mod is also by Ravishine. This is their Magnificent personal brewer again really cute fun name magnificent genius but yes with this one you can have your sims either brew a cup of coffee or some sort of tea so we have quite a few options in here so we have pitch black coffee we have calming chamomile tea earl gray tea steam steaming ginseng a uh, healthy green and you guys can see all the options here we also have matcha tea we have spiced sparkling apple juice this is definitely a all-in-one kind of a brewer so instead of having like one for coffee and then one for tea you kind of have both of them so you don't have to have more than one object and it just condenses it to one. I'm gonna have Journey come here and grab a pitch black coffee. All right, girl, yes. And there she goes. She's putting in the beans and you can see it's brewing here. That took a little bit for the animation to catch up, but, and there it is. Coffee is being brewed. Oh, and it's done. Okay, she just grabbed her cup. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I mean, the cup is still there, but yes, she has her cup of pitch black coffee. So speaking of drinks, we also have something here by Around the Sims, and this is their drink O baby. So this object here pretty much gives you the option to pick any drinks for your toddlers. So you can come in here and prepare a drink. So we have a bottle of water, we have fruit juice, milk, and then we have some toddler cups, which I think are so cute. We got a frog, we got a monkey, a mouse, a beaver. These are so, so, so adorable. And then down here we have pouches like strawberry mango, banana strawberry, sweet potato, carrot apple mango, so on and so forth. I'm gonna get the strawberry mango pouch. All right, so you see she just grabbed it from there. Now the animation is kind of weird. It is like she's opening a fridge and grabbing something out of a fridge, but it works. As you can see, she now has the strawberry mango pouch in her hand. Okay, so I had her put it down and now I'm gonna have Alexia come over here and grab it. So that's the only thing you can directly hand it to your toddler, but you can grab it and put it down and then your toddler can go ahead and grab the drink. And now you guys can see Alexia is enjoying her strawberry mango pouch. So cute, so adorable, and it just adds a little something for your toddlers so your toddlers are not just drinking water or something boring like that. They actually have different stuff for them. Now, speaking of recipes, we have this over here, which is the Granny's Old Cookbook by Lil Bao Bub. Now, this one here, a lot of people have in their game. If you haven't seen this, where have you been? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yes, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers have this in their game. And a lot of people that I know that play The Sims have this in their game. I used to have it in my game. Then I took it out, but then I put it back in because I wanted to make a gender reveal cake. And you can't make that unless you have Granny's cookbook installed in your game. But pretty much what this is, it just has different recipes. So we have breakfast, desserts, meals, and barbecue, different sorts of food. So these are barbecue meals. Then we have breakfast. We have honey banana toast, breakfast cereal, lox bagel. So it just gives your sim different recipes to make. We also have snacks. And in here we have cold drinks. We could also grab food for our toddler. And it just adds different recipes to the game, which 
overall for me, I feel like is nice to just see different meals instead of my Sims consistently cooking the same things over and over. Now we have more options with Granny's old cookbook. And also, as I said, as I mentioned before, for you to get a gender reveal cake to work, I will link that down below as, as well. In order for you to get that mod to work, you have to have Granny's old cookbook now this next mod is the in your safe piggy banks by ravishing once again as i said please check them out their stuff is amazing i absolutely love it i love this mod because you can either get this jar get the piggy bank or get this bag of money and what you do is you just add money to it so it's a piggy bank essentially for your sims and when you add money to any you could you can choose how much money you want to add in here. So let's say we'll put, let's put a hundred simoleons in there. So whichever sim you're currently on and you go ahead and click and add the money or add the simoleons in there, they will go ahead and add the simoleons into that object. So here journey goes. So she just put a hundred simoleons in there. Now, this bag of money belongs to Journey. So you guys can see it says Journey Brags Bag O Cash. So this is be this only belongs to her. Now, if another Sims wants to come in here and take the money, it would be stealing. It strictly belongs to Journey. I mean, another Sim could come in and steal it, but I mean, who would do that? That's so cruel. <laughs> So this bag belongs to Journey and you can do this with any of these. You don't have to add all of these. You can just pick one. I feel like this is also a good idea for children. So I'm going to have Jackson come over here and add money. So we're going to put, let's say he got 10 simoleons for taking out the trash for the neighbors. So we're going to go ahead and put 10 simoleons in there. So he's going to go ahead and put the 10 simoleons in there. Now there's 10 simoleons in there and this belongs to him. And I feel like this would be good for let's plays. Like, let's say you want your sim to save up money to go to college or you want your child sim to, you know, collect money from uh, chores that they do around the house or give them allowances. This will allow so that they're able to save up money and then they can take the money out at any time. So your sim could go ahead and put this in their inventory anywhere that they go. They can always put it in the inventory, then take it back out and then take the money out of there. So that money just belongs to that one sim. Okay, so the next mod I want to talk about is also by Ravishine. You will notice that a lot of these are by Ravishine because I absolutely love this creative stuff. As I mentioned 50 times at this point, this is the Ken You're Not Dollhouses. Now, these are pretty much small dollhouses. So these work in any tiny space that you have. Your kids can play with them. Your toddlers can play with them. And they also have four different options. So we got the little farmhouse. We got the castle. We have the little shopping mall. And then we also have a cute little pink home over there. And I feel like these just function so much better than the actual dollhouses because the actual dollhouses are huge and ridiculously sized and they can't always fit everywhere. Sometimes you just want a cute little dollhouse. You know, you don't want to have to take the dollhouse that are the dollhouses that are in the game and resize them. This just comes in a small compact size and it just functions anywhere you put it. Now, speaking of having small functional spaces here, we have a pantry mixer. Now, this is by Sixum CC. This one pretty much is like the cupcake maker, except with this mixer, you only have the option to make a surprise flavor. So you can't choose which flavor you want, but you can make cupcakes with them. So I'm going to have Journey come here and make a surprise flavor. So she's going to come here and going to load. Okay. And here is the cupcake. It kind of just appears out of nowhere. So this is a minty mocha cupcake. So I'm going to go ahead and have her eat that. So you kind of just click on it and it loads and then it just pops up. So that's like a quick and easy way just to make a single cupcake. If you don't want to make a whole batch for you sims and again it's quick and easy and it's compact here's another one by ravishing you're gonna be hearing that name a lot 
in this video, okay? This is a Cake a Break Buyable Cakes. Now, if you have the wedding stories installed in your game, if you have it downloaded, I personally don't have it in my game because I have not bought it. I'm kind of weary about it. I'm not sure if I want to get it or not. This box right here, you click on it and you can buy a piece of cake, any kind. So let's say you don't want your sim to go out of their way to make a cake because it takes time and you're on a crunch and you forgot it's your sims birthday and you want a quick cake you just go in here and you could pick whichever cake you want now i don't think your sim has to hold a specific skill set to be able to get any of these cakes so these are i believe these are all the cakes that are in the game currently i don't know if they're tailored to any specific packs or anything like that but these are all the cakes that are in the game. And as I said, if you have my wedding stories, I believe there would be more options because my wedding stories comes with a variety of other cakes, but those would pop up in here as well. Okay, so she ordered it and now it's in her inventory. So from what I've noticed, I don't believe these have like an expiration time. Usually when your sim makes a cake, it has an expiration time, but this does not expire and it will automatically pop into your sim's inventory so like, let's say you forget, you know how usually you make a cake and then you forget to put it in the fridge or you put it in the fridge and then you forget to put it in your inventory. Well, this takes that out of that. So it will pop up in your inventory and it won't go bad. So that is a plus plus for me because I know either I forget to put the cake back in the inventory or I leave the cake in the inventory and it goes bad. Again, if you haven't watched my Not So Berry series, you guys will see what happened to me the last time when I tried to put a cake in my Sims inventory. It was it was a disaster. <laughs> but yes, it makes it quick, easy, convenient and just really nice. So you don't have to sit here and make a cake. Have your Sim make a cake for two hours when you got an event to go to in two minutes. It literally pops up in the inventory in seconds. The next mod I want to talk about is also by Ravishing. It is the functional toy bin. Now, the original toy bin is this one here. I don't remember which pack it came with or if it came with the base game, but we did get this super, super cute toy box and Ravishing pretty much took it and made it something functional. The one that comes in the game is in this pink bin and then the one by Ravishing is in this white bin. And you can see because you can click on it and you can buy toys. So it functions just like a normal toy box. I'm going to go ahead and buy this Tentacle Tom. And when you go ahead and come back in here and open it, you can see Tentacle Tom is here. And then there's also other toys that um, come with the toy bins. Whenever you purchase a toy bin for your sim, it comes with these toys in there already. But I just purchased this one just to show you guys that that also functions as well. In case you don't want to buy any of the other toy bins and you really like this one, now we have a functional one. Now for this next mod, again, by Ravishing, we have the Modern Family Portrait. Once again, I feel like a broken record, but if you guys have watched my Not So Berry series, you might be familiar with this uh, family portrait here because I do have it in my Not So Berry challenge. Pretty much what this mod is, is just it puts all your Sims into a family portrait and you're able to put it on your wall. Now it comes with two different frames and you can change the color as well. You can also zoom in and zoom out the photo. So here you can click on it and zoom in. So it's a little bit closer. You can also change the frame color. As I mentioned, you can make it any color that you want. You can also randomize their poses as well. If you don't like the current pose that they have. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now it changed it. So you might have to give it a minute. So it takes a little bit for it to load when you randomize the pose. And you can also change their outfits. So you can put them in the athletic wear, swimwear, sleepwear, party, hot weather, so on and so forth. And then after you make all those changes, you can lock the portrait. So that way, you know, it doesn't get messed up or anything like that. If you click on here, your sim could also appreciate the portrait as well. And I just love this because I love to see, you know, all my sims in one place. And it's just it's really cute. It's really cute. If you guys are, are big on, you know, family and just wanting to have that family portrait. Now you have it. Okay, now for this next mod, this is also by Ravishing as well as a lot of these mods you see in this video are. This is the Photographic Memory 
Oh, this one comes with 10 different photo objects. So here we have a calendar and then we have some canvases in different shapes and sizes. And pretty much what this does is you can transfer a photo onto here. So pretty much you can customize a print so you can rotate photo, change photo, add photo description, set a filter, add a moodlet. And then you can also set the photographer first. So I had it set to journey. So it would say that journey took this photo. As you guys can see up on the top, it says large landscape canvases. And then it says journey brag. So it'll let you know that she's the one that took the photo. And then here we also have the option for photo studio. So with these photos, you can create photo gifts and then you can also transfer photos. So let's say your sim already took a photo and you want to put the photo in here. You just click transfer photo and it'll transfer the photo from your inventory into that canvas and then you can transfer it anywhere you want. So I'm going to have them transfer this photo onto here and we're going to put it on. Let's say we'll put it on this canvas. Boom. So there we go. Now we have the family photo on this canvas here. So this is the large square canvas and you can do that with any photo that your sim takes as long as it's in their inventory. That photo wasn't necessarily in the inventory, but it is the family portrait. So you can transfer it onto anything you want. You can also transfer it onto this calendar as well. So let's say we'd want to transfer from that canvas to this one. We can go ahead and transfer it, hit confirm and boom. Now it's on the calendar and it's so cute. I absolutely love this to pieces. Also, you can create gifts. So here we can turn it into a large canvas, a Polaroid, a cross stitch hoop and just turn these into any gifts. So I'm going to put it on a Polaroid. So now it says thank you for your purchase. The special items journey purchase can be found in the inventory. So when you open up your inventory, inventory here it is so now we have this polaroid photo of the family and you can gift it to any sim that you want let's say your sim is away for college and you want to post up some polaroid pictures of them with their friends you can do that on their wall or just have these canvases around the home so we don't have like you know the normal picture frames that we usually have now we have canvases and i think these look so amazing the quality is great and i absolutely love these i'm definitely going to be using these a lot more in my let's play because i know i've only used like the regular photo frames but definitely going to start incorporating these for my family photos for my sims all right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a part two to this, because I'm thinking about doing a part two. There's definitely a lot more objects that I have found, but these are just the few that I have incorporated in my Let's Plays and you guys might have seen in them. I just wanted to make a video on them, but let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.